Hey guys, how are you all doing today? Hope you're having a good day so far. So today's video is going to be another one about something really interesting from the Labyrinth of Evil book. And if you've been following the series, then you know that this book is between episode 2 and 3, pretty much just right before episode 3 happens. And this topic's an interesting one, because it's about Obi-Wan wondering if Anakin can die, due to the whole Chosen One prophecy and him being the Chosen One. Now, until he was able to fulfill the prophecy of the Chosen One, there comes the question, could Anakin actually die? Or would the Force always make sure that he survived? Did the Force kind of give him plot armor, almost? This is a question that Obi-Wan asked himself in the midst of seeing Anakin's amazing pilot skills in a dogfight against General Grievous' forces in James Luceno's book, Labyrinth of Evil. So just to give some context, after having recovered Newt Gunray's mechno chair that the Nemoidian left behind in his fortress during a hasty evacuation following an invasion by the Republic, the Jedi were able to override some of the Sith device's security and gain limited access to the machine's communications. This allowed the Republic to listen in on a holographic transmission from General Grievous, revealing that the Outer Rim planet, Belderone, was the new planned location for the Separatist leadership to make their next stronghold. Deciding to act on this intelligence, the Jedi sends a fleet to Belderone to await General Grievous's arrival in a surprise attack. Among their forces are Anakin and Obi-Wan in their Jedi fighters. So here we go. There is no death, there was only the Force. Obi-Wan wondered if he had ever witnessed a more lucid demonstration of the Jedi axiom than Anakin's Force-centered, death-defying harassment of Grievous' ship, his speck of a starfighter all but nose-to-nose -nose with the mammoth cruiser, leaving Obi-Wan to deal with the vengeful droid fighters Anakin was either ignorant of or deliberately disregarding. He really is going to be the death of me, Obi-Wan mumbled, but he wasn't indifferent to his own fate, wondering instead, what if Anakin should be killed? As the Chosen One, was he destined to fulfill both the title and the prophecy? Was he immune to real harm, or as someone born to restore balance to the Force, did he require defenders to guide him to that destiny? Was it Obi-Wan's duty, more the duty of all the Jedi, to see to it that he survived at all costs? Was that what Qui-Gon had intuited so many years earlier on Tatooine, and that had motivated him to attack with such resolve the Sith who had revealed himself in that parched landscape? Though the cruiser's shield was removing the sting of Anakin's laser bolts, he could not be deterred from persevering. Even Obi-Wan's repeated attempts to hail him through the battle net had had no effect. But now the huge ship was beginning to climb and reorient itself. Obi-Wan thought for a moment that Grievous was actually going to bring all forward guns to bear on Anakin. Instead, the cruiser continued to rise until it was well above the plane of the ecliptic, with its bow angled slightly coreward. Then, it fired. Now, of course, I can cover what happens next in another video if you so wish, but what do you think about Obi-Wan thinking all of this stuff? Now, until Anakin's sacrifice on the second Death Star, did the Force prevent him from dying? Either by providing protectors like Obi-Wan or adjusting events in Anakin's favor? Even Mustafar saw him survive, where most others would have died from that kind of damage. Sure, Anakin was powerful, but I mean, he got all of his limbs pretty much chopped off and then burnt alive. Then again, we've seen more gruesome fates in Star Wars such as Maul, some would argue. So what if he did die? What if Anakin had perished in the Clone Wars? What would the ripple effect be for the Jedi, the Sith, and the galaxy? Depending at which point in the war he died, the outcome would also be very different. Now this is a fan fiction I'd love to cover because I've never done it. What if Anakin Skywalker died? Like in this novel, if Grievous' flagship managed to destroy Anakin, Luke and Leia might still exist as Padme could be pregnant at this point, she might just not have told Anakin yet. But if he had fallen earlier in the war, then no Luke and Leia. Regardless of when, if the Clone Wars had been the end of Anakin, would a new Chosen One have emerged? Or would the galaxy have to wait until the birth of Rey Palpatine? Would she have been born if the Emperor was never killed on the second Death Star? She is the child of his clone. If no clone, then no Rey. But if she still existed, would she be living in a galaxy with a dysfunctional new republic or a galactic empire that never fell? Or an old republic that never turned into the empire in the first place? There is another series of books that cover the origin, rise, and death of Darth Bane, the instigator of the rule of two. And in particular, in the first of those books, the Sith Order speak of their own prophesied one, except they refer to this perfect being as the Sithari. Now the Sithari, which I've made a video on, was said to be the ultimate Sith, free of all restrictions, who would lead the Sith and then destroy them. But through that destruction, 
make them stronger than ever. Most agree that Darth Bane is this Sithari, for he did destroy the old order of the Sith and replaced it with his own based on the rule of two. But I would like to propose the argument that the Jedi's chosen one and the Sith's Sithari are one and the same, namely Anakin Skywalker. Both of these powerful prophesized beings were said to be uniquely powerful or perfect and were meant to destroy the Sith, which Anakin did. First he destroyed the Jedi, then the Sith, thus perhaps making the Sith stronger as the prophecy states, in the sense that by bringing the Force into balance, its presence is actually felt more potently. A balanced Force is a stronger Force, or is it? The dark side is quicker, but ultimately it leads to nothing but destruction, and is therefore weaker in that regard. By abandoning it, the Force becomes stronger. Now, I'm not saying this is my position at all, but it's an interesting thought. Of course, I don't know where the Emperor's clone from Rise of Skywalker fits into all of this. Was he truly Darth Sidious possessing a clone body, or some dark side copy that had his memories and personality? I'm still somewhat unclear on that, but I would like to believe at least from the book, it stated more so that his soul had gone into this body. Anyways guys, let me know what you think of the prophecy protecting Anakin from dying, and if you think this theory that the Chosen One and the Sithari are the same person could be true. So this video is kind of like a double whammy. Something funny also, before we end the video from this excerpt, was that Obi-Wan says he really is going to be the death of me. And, well, for sure, he was in the end. From a certain point of view, that is. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, remember, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, the Force will be with you. Always.